Currently, the NBA is a league that is ran by duos. The Clippers, Lakers, Rockets, and Nets all have their dynamic duos that were created last offseason. But in this video, we look at the highest scoring duos ever. Welcome back to the NBA Real. In today's video, we have the 10 highest scoring duos in NBA history. First of all, we have Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook in 2011 to 2012. This was the same year that the young OKC team made it to the NBA Finals but lost to LeBron James and the Miami Heat in 5 games. But for Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook, they combined for 51.6 points per game on average every night. For Kevin Durant, he averaged 28 points per game and for Russell Westbrook, he averaged 23.6. And keep in mind that also on this team was James Harden. Obviously, he was not the same as he is today. He was coming off of the bench, but still with the 10th best scoring duo of all time, you've also got James Harden on the bench who will become one of the best scorers ever. But next up is the duo that the OKC Thunder lost to in the finals, and that is LeBron James and Dwayne Wade. In the 2010 to 2011 season, these two combined for an average of 52.2 points per game. LeBron James pitched in with 26.7 points per game, and Dwayne Wade had 25.5 points per game. But this Miami Heat super team would actually end up losing in the NBA Finals to the Dallas Mavericks this same year. And for Dwayne Wade, he began to slow down more when it came to his scoring after this season. The next duo is Kobe and Shaq. And we all know this is one of, if not the greatest duo in the history of the NBA. And this won't be the last time you see this duo on this video because this is for the 1999 to 2000 season. In that season, the total points per game average was 52.2 points per game between the two, with Shaq averaging 29.7 and Kobe averaging 22.5. The previous two duos that we talked about both finished their seasons losing in the NBA Finals, but this is the first duo that will win the NBA Finals on this video. Now, I literally just said that you would see that duo again on this video, and you're seeing it back to back. Because in the 2001 to 2002 NBA season for the Lakers, both Shaq and Kobe combined for 52.4 points per game. Shaq would average 27.2 points per game, while Kobe would average 25.2 points per game. And once again, they would finish it off by winning an NBA championship and getting their third straight. This next duo has two of the best scores of the 2000s, and that is Carmelo Anthony and Allen Iverson on the Denver Nuggets in 2006 to 2007. Of course, Carmelo Anthony was drafted there and Allen Iverson would get traded there. And once AI did get traded there, they had a lot of expectations and they did put up a lot of points. Carmelo Anthony averaged 28.9 points per game and Allen Iverson averaged 24.8 as they combined for 53.7 points per game. But in the playoffs, they would lose in the first round when they had Western Conference Finals expectations. But this will be the third appearance of Shaq and Kobe on this video because in the 2000 to 2001 NBA season, they combined for 57.2 points per game between the two. Shaq would average 28.7 points per game and Kobe would average 28.5 points per game. So they both averaged 28 points per game plus. And again, just like their previous two appearances here, they won the championship in this season so they finished it off perfectly however the kobe and shaq duo is still not done on this video this is their fourth appearance and this is the 2002 to 2003 nba season which is a season where they did not finish it off with the championship they actually would lose in the second round However, for Kobe, he would average 30 points per game while Shaq would average 27.5 points per game. Add that up, that is 57.5 points per game between the two. But that is all for Kobe and Shaq being on this video. However, that is not the last Los Angeles Laker duo that will be on this video. In fact, this next duo, you're actually going to see them twice. And that means that over half of this list is the Los Angeles Lakers. However, this duo is Jerry West and Elgin Baylor. They combined for 58.1 points per game in the 1964 to 65 season. Jerry West would average 31 points per game and Elgin Baylor would average 27.1. Now this high scoring duo just seemed unstoppable, but they would meet the Boston Celtics in the finals and you know how that goes. We already saw Westbrook and Durant, but right now we have Westbrook and James Harden of the 2019 to 2020 Houston Rockets because they combined for 61.5 points per game. Harden averaged 34.4 points per game this season and Russell Westbrook averaged 27.2 points per game. 
However, right now they are down 3-1 to one to the Los Angeles Lakers at the time of this video being recorded. So we'll see how it plays out as we have seen teams come back from being down 3-1 before but I don't know if this team can pull it off. However, the highest scoring duo in the history of the NBA is the 1961 to 1962 Lakers with Elgin Baylor and Jerry West as they combined for 69.1 points per game. It's the only time that a team has ever had two players average 30 points per game in a season and that was Elgin Baylor with 38.3 points per game and Jerry West with 30.8 points per game and that is the highest scoring duo on this video by almost a whole eight points. But yet again, they would lose in the NBA Finals. They just could not overcome the Boston Celtics and I don't blame them. There was a ton of Hall of Famers on that team. But anyway, that's the video. Those were the 10 highest scoring duos in NBA history. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave your like and subscribe for more great made of content just like this. But that's all I have for you today. I am out. Peace.